From our North Idaho newsroom tonight, trees planted in memory of the dearly departed are wreaking havoc on headstones and landscaping at Woodlawn uh, Cemetery in St. Mary's. As KXY Force Tanya Dahl shows us, plans to remove the trees aren't sitting well with everyone. Tender loving care has been put into this grave site. This young tree is beautiful, but it's very close to this gravestone. In the future, it could cause more damage than good. You know, they plant them when they're little tiny and, and they grow and that's when trouble starts happening. <laughs> this tree was planted to memorialize eight-year-old Patrick, who lost his battle to cancer back in 1984. 25 years later, it's blossomed, roots spreading to neighboring grave sites. That's why Patrick's family wants it removed. And see, it's coming up here. See, this one has been sawed even. And there's roots sticking up. Take a stroll through Woodlawn Cemetery and you'll stumble across more yeah, trouble spots. The, the tree was planted between those headstones and you can see that, you know, it's uplifted the base, busted it all up. Cemetery it's Sexton Marla Shaw says there are 50 to 60 locations where roots are disturbing grave sites, unearthing headstones, where shrubs have taken over. The trees that we're concerned about right now are trees that families have planted. A city ordinance requires families to ask permission before planning in the cemetery. But that hasn't been happening. We're trying to kind of follow the city ordinance, you know, which hasn't really been followed so well in the past. Now the city of St. Mary's is taking action. Later this month it will mail out letters informing families that some of these trees and shrubs may have to be removed by professionals. It's very delicate. We're trying to be very diplomatic in doing what needs to be done to resolve the issues. Not everyone is on board. Very upset that the trees would be removed. So we're kind of going case by case on that and looking at it to see what needs to be taken care of. The city maintains this isn't about disturbing the peace. It's about preserving and protecting those who are no longer with us. I think most people, when they see their three or four headstones that are being uprooted, um, I, I think they will understand. In St. Mary's, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.